Sophia, I saw my dad sending something called an email to his friends. Do you know what is it? Yes, I do. It is an electronic letter which you can send to your friends and it reaches them in no time. So fast? Please tell me how to send email to friends. Sure, Romy. Let us learn about email in this chapter. Email. Email stands for electronic mail and is used to send and receive messages using the internet. You must have observed that to make calls or send messages from your phone, it requires a network like Airtel, Vodafone or Geo. In a similar manner, to be able to send and receive messages through email, the computer requires an internet connection. The advantages of an email are as follows. It is a very easy and quick process. An email gets delivered in a few seconds. The user can send the email from any part of the world at any time. We can also include our signature at the end of an email which will go automatically with every email we send, thus saving your time. The user gets a notification if the email is not delivered. Many copies of a message can be sent to a group of people at the same time. Email address. Sending and receiving emails is only possible if we have an email address. Every internet user has his or her own email address. For example, sharma ravi at the rate hotmail.com. There is a specific format for email addresses, a username and a domain name which are separated by at the rate. The username for every email address is different while the domain name is same for all people using a particular mail server. A user can create more than one account on a single domain, but the usernames have to be different. Creating an email account Websites like Gmail, Yahoo, Rate of Mail and Outlook are some of the popular email websites. We can log on to any of these websites and create an email account. The steps to create an email account in Gmail are as follows. Step 1. Connect the computer to an internet connection. Step 2. Double click on the web browser icon on your desktop. Step 3. In the address bar type www.gmail.com. Press the enter key. This will open a new window. Step 4. Click on the Create an Account button on that window. Step 5. The page will ask you to fill in the details. We type our first and last name in the name box. We type the username in the username box. We can use letters, numbers and periods for this. Type the password in the password box. Choose a unique password and the one which we can remember. Retype the password in the confirm box. Use 8 or more characters with a mix of letters, numbers and symbols for password. Step 6. Click on the next button. The welcome page will ask us to fill in more details. We fill in our mobile number for account security. Next, we fill in our recovery email address. This is optional. Enter the month, day and year of our birth in the Your Date of Birth box. Fill in the gender in the gender box. Step 7. We click on the next button and verify our phone number. Step 8. A welcome to Google screen will appear with all our details that we have filled. Check them and click on the next button. Step 9. We will get Google privacy and terms conditions. After going through this, we click on the I agree button. Our Gmail account is now created. We will get a mail from Google welcoming us. Sign in to your email account. To sign in to our email account in Gmail, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Connect the computer to an internet connection. Step 2. Double click on the web browser icon. Step 3. In the address bar, type www.gmail.com and press the enter key. Step 4. Type our email address in the field given on the home page. It is not necessary to type gmail.com with the username. 
Step 5. Click on the next button. Step 6. Type the password and click on the sign in button. Step 7. If we want to be signed in automatically every time, we open Gmail, select the Stay Signed In option. This will automatically open our Gmail account in the web browser. Sending an email. The steps to send an email are as follows. Step 1. Sign in to our Gmail account. Step 2. After signing in on the top left of the browser window, select Compose. This will open a new window wherein we can start writing the mail. Step 3. Following columns are to be filled before we begin. 2. Here comes the email address of the recipient. CC Carbon Copy. Type the email address of the people we want to send a copy of our email to. This feature is used to share a particular message with a large number of people. BCC Blind Carbon Copy. If we want to keep somebody invisible from all the other recipients of our message, then his or her email address will come here. This feature is very similar to CC. Subject The main idea or purpose behind the messages written here. Step 4 After filling these fields, we can start typing your message in the blank area. Step 5 After finishing, we click on the send option to send the email. Attaching files to an email. The process of attaching files to the email is known as attaching and send files are known as attachment. Any files such as a Word document, Excel workbook, PowerPoint presentation, music, videos, pictures and other types of files can be sent using an email. We cannot send more than 25 MB of files in an email. The steps to attach a file are as follows. Step 1. Click on the Attach File option at the bottom of the new message screen. Step 2. An open dialog box will appear. Browse and select the file we would like to attach. It might take some time depending on the size of the file. Once the file is attached, it will be displayed at the bottom of the new message screen. We can also remove the file by clicking on the cross on the attachment. Reading an email. To read an email, signing into our Gmail account is necessary. The number of emails in our inbox is reflected in the brackets after inbox. For example, inbox 1. Unread emails appear in bold and read emails appear in normal text with shaded background. We can also delete any unwanted mails by selecting that particular mail and clicking on the delete button. Downloading the attachments. If we see an attachment symbol on the mail that we have received, it means that the sender has attached a file with it. We can open or download the attachment by following the given steps. Step 1. Click on the message to open it. Step 2. Go to the bottom and place the pointer of the mouse on the attachment. We can view the attachment by simply clicking on it. Step 3. We can also save a copy of the attached file by clicking on the download option on it. Reply and forward. To reply to an email, the user can use the reply option. It is not required to enter the subject and email address of the sender again as they are selected automatically. The following are the steps to reply to an email address. Step 1. Click on the arrow icon in the top right corner of the received message. Step 2. If there are multiple recipients of the message and we want to respond to all of them, we click on Reply to All in the box below the message and begin typing. To forward the email received from the sender to anyone else, use the following steps. Step 1. Click the top right arrow next to the Reply option to open the drop-down menu. Step 2. Select Forward. Step 3. Now type the email address in the To field. Step 4. Click on the Send button. Sign out. Signing out means closing our email account. We should always sign out of our account to prevent any kind of misuse. The following steps are used to sign out from an email account. Step 1. At the top right corner of the browser window, click on the icon. Step 2. Select the Sign Out option. A screen will appear that confirms that we have successfully signed out. Textionary Email 
Email stands for electronic mail. It is used to send and receive messages using the internet. Internet. It is the vast computer network that links small computer networks worldwide. Let's refresh. A medium of sending messages and receiving them using the internet is known as email. It can be sent and received from any part of the world. To send and receive emails, one must have one's own email address. Email address consists of a username and a domain name. An email can contain attachments in the form of images and files. A domain name and username separated by at is required for a valid email address. Clicking on the message, inbox allows the user to read an email.